What's up everyone, this is Mike from MyGadgets Wall and today's video we're gonna be doing the G-Sync and bringing up that game bar menu on the Samsung Neo QLED TV. I'm using my PC is equipped with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 and this is the PC usually I use so I just moved it from there to a temporary table and then I put that Samsung Neo QLED TV on it and it's connected to my PC right there. So make sure that you have the HDMI 2.1 port on the back that you are connected to. It's HDMI 4, port number 4 on the TV. And the HDMI goes back to the NVIDIA RTX 3080 because the 3000 series can do that. All right, I'm gonna be showing you how you can enable that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe because I have the Sony A90J coming today, guys. It's coming one day early. So we, I'm literally pumped up and excited. So we're going to be comparing a lot of things. So please help this boy out here, right? I mean, I'm, I've been buying all these TVs from the pocket. So just, just help a little bit. Hit the subscribe button for this guy. So, did I say subscribe butter? <laughs> okay, I don't want to redo or cut this. I'll just let it go like this. But I know you guys will do that. I mean, you guys have been so generous. I almost reached 13,000 plus subscribers because of all of you and all of your help. So we're going to do that. One thing, we're going to go to the NVIDIA control panel and see what is our resolution there. So in the change resolution setting, we are at 4K native, and we are stuck at 60 hertz. So if you go down to the PC resolution, we have the maximum of 1440p. That's the Quad HD. So we do not have the 2160p showing up in the PC resolution settings where we can take advantage of high refresh rates, like 120 hertz and variable refresh rates and all the good stuff, right? And on the left side, we don't see that NVIDIA G-Sync option showing up where you can activate the G-Sync. And also you can see this icon here. It is showing blue color. Usually it shows the green color because it's NVIDIA G-Sync that you can activate, but we don't have all of that. So what, what do we do now? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna summon some menu on the Samsung Neo QLED screen. We're gonna hit that one, two, three number button on the remote control and click on that I, which will give you information, 2160p and 60 hertz. That's where we are connected to right now. So first we have to do one thing on the Samsung Neo QLED TV. We're gonna go to the settings. We're gonna hit the menu button. We're gonna go to the settings. And once you go to the settings, you have to go down to the general settings. So before I do that, I want to hit this play pause button because this is something that brings up that game bar that you've been looking at the Samsung advertisements and you know their showcase event. So if you keep holding that button, nothing is coming up on the screen. So that means that we are not in the game mode either. That's when the game bar shows up. So we're going to go to the general and we're going to go down to the external device manager because our device is connected to the HDMI port 4. That's the only HDMI 2.1 port. And I'm using the Zeskit HDMI 2.1. I'll include the link for the HDMI cable that I use. And that cable I've been using for all of my HDMI 2.1 devices. And I have I had no issues whatsoever with these cables. And a lot of YouTubers also use these Zeskit. So I'll put the link in the description. I get it from Amazon, so you can order from there. All right, so I'm gonna, I wanna make sure that I'm turning on this option for HDMI 4. And as soon as I do that, that deep color ultra HDMI, or we call it enhanced HDMI on the Sony TVs will be enabled. This will give you the higher refresh rates that you're looking for, the 4K HDR 120 Hertz. So now one part of the equation is solved. We're gonna go to the NVIDIA control panel and you see that we have 120 Hertz and we have that 3840 into 2160p, the second one. You know, the first one is for, I don't know, they use it for cinema or something. So we have to go to the second option in the PC resolution. So 3840 into 2160p, 120 hertz. We're gonna apply that, but still see on the left side, we still do not have that G-Sync option popping up. So that has to do something with the game mode. If you're not in the game mode, we're not gonna see that option. So. I'm gonna show you on my screen, step-by-step step, what's going on. So we activated input signal plus, now we have 4K 120 hertz. So we're gonna hit that one, two, three button on the remote control, and we have 2160p, 120p, or 120 hertz. So that's a good thing. But now we're gonna try hitting that play pause button and see if we can get that game bar or not. And we are not getting the game bar because we are not in the game mode yet. And also we have to be think we have to think about we don't have the VRR enabled yet. 
So we're going to activate the game mode. Go to these settings. And you don't have to go all the way to the setting. You can just hover on it. And as soon as the game mode is activated, you have 120 FPS. I'm going to go back to that menu so you can see clearly. And uh, I'm going to have to just hold that uh, play pause button to bring that up again. So you can see that we have input lag. We have the fastest one to avoid, that in, uh, avoid, avoid the lag. We have FPS 120, which is Hertz 120. HDR on, VRR is off. So now we can enable because we are in the game mode. So we go back to the NVIDIA control panel. And in the NVIDIA control panel, we have the setup G-Sync option showing up. And also the monitor screen for the this icon has turned into green for NVIDIA. And we can enable it for full screen. And also we can enable settings for the selected display model, even though it says that this display is not validated a G-Sync compatible because it does not have that G-Sync compatible certification from NVIDIA. But that doesn't mean that it cannot do G-Sync. It can do variable refresh rates. So we can do the G-Sync on it, but it's not certified. And Samsung, I don't know how their collaboration works with them. LG TVs are actually uh, certified compatible, but Samsung TVs are not. But still, we can take advantage of that. So now we're going to close this screen, get out of there. And we're going to bring our menu back again, the game bar. Game bar is kind of life changing here. You know how that Easter egg menu on the LG TV so you can tell what you are doing on the screen? This is just amazing. So now we see FPS is 60, HDR is on, VRR is on. But 60 is kind of weird, right? Because it's, it should be 120, isn't it? But the thing is, you're not playing any game right now. So the game, par game bar is not detecting anything. So we're going to have to do one thing. Go to NVIDIA control panel and verify that. It was showing 120 there. I brought this game up, and as soon as I brought the game up, it's uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Warzone. And now we have the FPS changing as soon as we have that game, and the game bar triggers that. So we are good here. We have the variable refresh rates activated. And you can see that FPS count is changing. We have the HDR on, and then we have the VRR on. That's why the FPS is changing. So everything is good now, guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And also, you can see on my screen, I'm playing with the menu still because I just love to. So it's, uh, it's working, guys. So if you have any questions, please reach out to the comment section. And I'll be more than glad to reach out to all of you and answer all of your questions and inquiries. I'll be making some unboxing videos about the Sony A90J because it's coming today in the evening. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever that video is up. That's it, guys. Please remember in your prayers, and I'll see you in another video. Until then, peace out. <sighs> I talk a lot. I need water. <laughs> All right, guys. I appreciate your help, guys. Bye-bye.